Hey guys, Cobra Thousand here. Welcome back to World of Tanks Splits. Today we're going to be talking about spotting and how World of Tanks is mainly won on intelligence. This game is an intelligence war. Uh, it's mostly how you win. Now before we get into that, if you are new, like and subscribe. I want to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year, and that's the best way you can help is to subscribe, like this video, and share it. I want you to destroy the like button right now, the record for my, I think my most likes is seven. So if we can beat that, that is helpful. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to be using the STB on Rockfield. Wonderful tank. So spotting gives you a lot of information. It tells you where the enemy's going. It tells you where they're going to be positioned. It tells you, you know, what their tanks are, what their force is. Even though you can see up on the uh, the scoreboard what tanks they are, Knowing exactly where said tanks are going to be is very important. So, towards the low ground here, towards Seaside, this is mirrored on both sides. There is this hill here that you can use to spot into the enemy spawn, right? Most of the time, anything crossing there, if you're in a medium or any tank, really, you're going to spot up a multitude of tanks, right? Really, someone on their team should be coming over here. In this instance, we spot up four tanks, the Hori, the 113, the T-30, and the T-62A. Now, nobody's counter-spotting me, which is bad for them. Because we've spotted them now, I, I and my team know where the enemy is heading, where they're most likely going to position themselves, and what they're doing, who they're shooting. However, because no one evidently seems to be spotting back, it is unlikely that they are spotting up my team. So my team remains unspotted. I'm protecting my team. Because now it's very hard for somebody to come over here and spot. Because I'm here. And that keeps them. What well, keeps them spotted. So I get two shots into them. Now preferably there are two ways to play this position. I wouldn't recommend taking a heavy tank or a tank destroyer here. It seems like a recipe for disaster. And you're not fast enough. Something like the STB. The Padden. Even uh, maybe a TVP. If your clip loads in time. Like you should come here if you're because uh, if you're medium you can likely get more than one shot off if you're a light tank you can get a shot off unspotted and move on you'll be spotted once you fire but like you won't get spotted when you pop up here like i was i'm relatively sure i was spotted when i poked up we get two shots into him the 62a tries to shoot me back you know while i'm hauled down that's going to work out for him so next thing after you've spotted, there is no point right now with how this game play, with this how this game is going, to stay there and keep spotting. I need to move up and I need to get my gun into the fight. There's a few ways I can do this. One, I can rotate maybe into their spawn and flank them. That's one thing I could do. That one's a bit more iffy because I'm still spotted. So you have to remember that you're still spotted. It's 10 seconds. It's a 10 second spot. So what I'm going to do, and I think this is the best choice, I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to get hauled out. Now, preferably, don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. Go to where I am now, from the beginning. So we're going to just do a hoary. He pins me. It's a hoary. Of course he would pin. Now, I've got teammates behind me. By now, I'm pretty sure everyone's on my team spotted, so I can't rely on that. And they're going to try and push me. You know? So what I'm going to do, and this goes into using intelligence, we're going to go back to the same spot. Again, all of their tanks are spotted. They've been spotted the whole time, and I know where they are. Like, I know where their tanks are. I know where my team is. Something that you also have to do is you have to keep constantly looking at the mini-map. This will extremely help you. I mean, this will help you extremely. But I'm going to fall back prematurely. I probably could have stayed there maybe a little bit longer, but I'm going to do it in anticipation of them pushing me, because that's what they're going to do. That 113 wants to kill me in, along with this uh, T-62. He fails. We clean him. And now I'm in this hole, right? He has to give up the, the high ground to kill me, which um, he gets shot and realizes that it's a bad idea to push down and doesn't. I don't think this 50 TP should have come down here, but what happens, happens. But, like, I think that's a pretty good idea of working that position. There's other ones, and I and you should experiment with it, but I'm using this as a direct point. This is what you... 
what you gather from your first intelligence of the game is what you need to do, I mean is what you need before you plan out what you need to do next. It's a little bit hard to do this in heavy tanks. Technically, you could do this in the chieftain, but I wouldn't recommend it. Mediums and lights should be doing it. Now, this one is an example of a tank destroyer supporting me and me getting a good spot off. Right? We're going to poke up here again. This is from the other side. 60, I mean, 60 TP and the super conk. Get a shot into him, and he's going to get smacked for 1,300. Boom, all his hit points are gone. All of them. By the way, this is only 30 seconds into the game. And now we're going to clear a super conqueror. Boom. Tanked. Gone. Immediately. Again, it'd be much harder to do this if somebody was spotting me. These are the small things, right? Just that small spot knocked out a tank. This is how important spotting is. Again, okay, let's just say the tank destroyer missed him. Still knowing where he was going is very important. Very important. So, if the chief didn't hear get spotted, and he's going to get smacked too. Shout out to this 183. He's got wonderful accuracy, right? <laughs> and he gets set on fire. Right, the light tank's gonna rush him. The E100's gonna clear him. Two tanks down. Classic Cobra bounce. Um, but now two tanks are dead. Two tanks are gone. Right. That's how important just these two games show that, like, you can clean tanks super effectively by spotting them. This spotting is so important. So important to winning. It is probably the most important thing. Besides positioning, besides, you know, pinning your shots, knowledge and information allow you to win. Taking that knowledge and using it is the next most important thing after it. Once you have that knowledge, you need to take it and you need to exploit it to the fullest extent. I'm going to... Let's just go back and watch that Conqueror just evaporate again. Right? This is a strong tank. This isn't a weak tank. This is someone who can deal a lot of damage. He's got good alpha. He's got good DPM. Boom. He's removed. I immediately move up to exploit it. This is very important. As soon as he lost all his hit points because of his position, because no one was spotting back, because no one was keeping me from spotting him, and because he was probably too far, he was too far exposed, he loses all of his hit points. All of them, and gets cleared. His game is over, a tank is removed from the game, and we are up one tank. Same with that chief. Thing. Again, the most... In, most of these games are won by what you know. And that goes into three different things. One, knowing the attributes of tanks. You really should study tanks. You should study their stats. You should study what they are when they're fully equipped. You should go see how other people play them. Watch different play styles of how people play tanks. I prefer to play the STB maybe too much like a hold down heavy sometimes. Don't listen to me. But learn how these tanks are played. This is a strong hull down tank. Not the strongest. There's better. But it's still hard to unentrench him once he is hauled down. And so removing him is important. Same with the chieftain. Just gets removed. These are things you think, need to think about every single game. Every single game. Uh, now, I've only got really two examples. because Again, this is my failure. I don't do this enough either. I think everybody needs to incorporate this even more into their gameplay. 
finding the spots and finding success from those spots are very important. Like the, the amount of importance, knowing when you're spotted, unspotted, karma spotted, all of that is, is very important. Can I nail this any harder? You, I'll leave on this. You should always be thinking multiple steps at a time, right? This is why spotting is so important. If you're trying to figure out how to think ahead, the first step, I think, is getting spotted. Um, and for heavy tanks, watch what your teammates are spotting. That's your intelligence. Your intelligence comes from other people, which kind of sucks. There's sometimes you can spot, I and mean, you can spot as well. I might throw, might throw up a, a lovely spot I got earlier. <laughs> um, but your intelligence is relied on other people, and that best infers your truth. This is why spotting is important. And why us heavy tanks get so mad at lights and mediums when they don't spot? We get punished because of their failure. Yeah, I think that does it. Uh, just spot one and take that knowledge and absorb it. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for the video. Nice short one. It's been a while since I've done one. This is attempt 900,000 at doing this video, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, I am not going to be streaming after this goes up, but I will be streaming tonight. I don't know when. I have stuff to do today. Uh, I don't know when I'll be home, but once I get home, I'm going to load up a stream. May I'm going to eat, probably load up a stream, and we are going to rock and roll with Mad Games tonight. I believe it's Mad Games. And I am going to play the shit out of Mad Games. I am going to pound the ground with Mad Games. And like this video. We just hit 70 subscribers not too long ago. Again, nice views. We had a nice, my last stream was real nice. We had four. We had four concurrent viewers, which is the thing, the most I've had overall for like a straight hour. For a straight hour, we had four, four concurrent viewers. That was really nice. That stream also got seven up, I mean, uh, seven thumbs ups. Like it. I want to break the algorithm. I want the algorithm to cry like, like and like share share it to everyone and their mother if you have to because your support helps and without you guys i'd probably still be here yelling into the void but having somebody listen to me scream into the void is real real nice have a nice day and remember we spread communism the American way. <laughs>